Uranus, the enigmatic ice giant planet, has long been a subject of fascination and mystery for astronomers. Its unique characteristics have made it a subject of study for decades. Yet it remains shrouded in a veil of mystery due to limited data available. Uranus, known for its striking blue colour, is not only a planetary marvel, but also a complete enigma. Its orbit, which is unique among the planets, is tilted on its side, giving it an unusual appearance. This peculiarity, along with its magnetic field that boasts not two but four poles, adds to its intrigue. Astronomers have been trying to unravel the secrets of Uranus for years, and recent developments have shed some light on its dark and confusing aspects. Hidden deep within its bowels, the celestial body reveals a four-pole phenomenon that has puzzled scientists for decades. Just a few months ago, an unexpected discovery was made. A previously unknown moon, now named S223YU1, was found within the distant ice giant. This addition to the Uranus family increased the number of its satellites from 27 to 28 with the newly discovered moon being the smallest found to date. The data collected by Voyager 2 in 1986 may seem outdated, but it still leads to new discoveries. For instance, the data revealed a surprisingly strong radiation belt, filled with energetic and fast-moving electrons in the magnetosphere of Uranus. This is particularly interesting because, unlike Jupiter, there was practically no plasma from which electrons could arise in the region of Uranus. This seemed especially strange, considering that Uranus should constantly release water molecules into space, which then ionize. For decades, experts puzzled over this anomaly, only now able to explain these strange conditions. The key to the astronomical breakthrough was hidden in old data sets, which were not noticed until now. Coma from NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory looked at the data again, revealing that a strong solar storm occurred a few days before the Voyager 2 flyby. This storm stung Uranus's magnetic field and blew the surrounding plasma into space. While this event weakened the magnetosphere, it filled the planet's radiation belt. These extreme conditions probably occur only about 4% of the time. It is raining diamonds inside Uranus, and solving this nearly 40-year-old plasma mystery is an important milestone in the exploration of Uranus. However, Uranus's exotic magnetic field continues to pose serious challenges. The formation of a planet's magnetic field is complex, and Uranus is no exception. The interior of an ice giant consists of a solid core on one side and a mixture of water ice, ammonia and methane on the other, which are potentially conductors and could be a candidate for a convective magnetic dynamo. However, what we do know is what the lower layers of Uranus look like, and what could be blocking currents at such depths in the planet. One theory is based on the assumption that the water in these layers is in an exotic, superionic state which means that the oxygen atoms of the water molecules form a solid lattice in which the hydrogen ions can move freely. Another theory suggests that it could really rain diamonds inside Uranus. The fact that the interior of the ice giant could be a planetary diamond is explained by the pressure and temperature, which are probably high enough to break down hydrocarbons and compress carbon into diamond crystals. At the same time, this rain of precious stones could explain why the planet has such a multipolar field. Eventually, diamonds also penetrate into the depths, which ultimately causes convective currents in the mantle because conductive molecules are also set in motion in this process. They may also contribute to the formation of Uranus's unusual magnetic field. While all this seems plausible, a new series of studies has concluded that the solution to the riddle of the magnetic field actually has a completely different explanation. In this case, we are not talking about superionic rain from diamonds, but about the results of the existence of immiscible planets.
Thanks to this, the discussion of the magnetic field has now been enriched with a third approach. The solution to the riddle of the magnetic field, according to Burke Police University in Berkeley, is based on the behaviour of methane, water ice and ammonia under conditions inside Uranus. Using a highly profitable adaptive algorithm, the scientist was able to model these processes with atomic accuracy for the first time, with an amazing result. When the Professor of Earth and Planetary Science looked at the model, the water separated into carbon and nitrogen, forming several layers that cannot mix with each other. At the very top, there is a conductive layer of water ice about 88,000 km thick, which is probably partially liquid. It is in this area that the events occur, convective currents, which are the driving force of the multipolar magnetic field immediately below it is a similar in thickness layer of hydrocarbons containing nitrogen, where the hydrogen content decreases with depth and pressure eventually leading to the formation of several words of these compounds, which become increasingly dense. According to Liru, this circumstance prevents vertical movement and therefore these layers cannot play a significant role in the formation of the magnetic field of Uranus. In other words, the hidden bowels of the planet behave like oil and water, and the result is that the division into two different layers explains why Uranus has such an exotic magnetic field. However, as is often the case, the theory still requires verification in the course of future research. This can be verified, for example, in the framework of laboratory experiments under high pressure or at best, of course, in the course of direct research in situ. Unfortunately, the truth about the space probe to Uranus is that at present, there is no program that would be at an advanced stage of development and would go beyond obscure concepts. One of such concepts is called AS and involves two separate probes, one sent to Uranus and the other to Neptune. If the project is conceived and implemented, the probe can travel through the vast expanses of space in just ten years. However, whether and when this project will be implemented remains unknown.